Hello everyone, welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access, where I am going to revisit the very first thing I made a video of in this series, and that is sending Jeb to Mars. We do have the save from before Jeb met his fate, and so I'm going to try to save him. I'm not sure this is going to work out or not, but if we can, we'll see whether we can return Jeb back home safely. Uh, now, I am going to actually decouple this stage early rather than wait until later. And, well, it doesn't show the resources anyway, uh, in the hope that we can have some extra time. So, uh, separation. And so it gets caught, you see, that's the issue. Gets caught. Now, somebody suggested time warping. Uh, so I'm going to time warp. And uh, I don't think the time warping thing worked. Uh, because we are in fizz warp. And this decoupler, well, okay, now, okay, I have time warped and, okay, not pause, okay. All right, we got it off. Now we need to actually do things. <laughs> oh, uh, it's not orienting the way I want it to. Uh, I don't think the engine is active. I'll just activate them. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I should have just done regular skate staging, but you know. Um, no, I can't use the joystick. <laughs> I reached for the joystick automatically, and I can't use that. Okay, so... Can I land this though? It's an awful tall lander and I have a tendency to tip things over. Uh, I'll give myself some time to do the final bit of landing. Why is Jeb's portrait not popping up though? I don't like that. Okay. Let's see about this. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. Well, oh, 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 cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Ah. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 Oh, well, um, you know what? Since we're loading saves and everything, hold on, first of all, let me, I can't EVA, Jeb. I think that's very suspicious anyway. Um... Yeah, I don't think the reaction wheel is going to tip this over. We can roll it a bit, but... Okay, since we were starting a uh, save anyway, let's let's go back. As we know what to do. First of all, we, we can verify that Jeb is present. So that's important. That's important to know. And let me try and do this better. I'm just not used to keyboard controls since I have... 30 years of using a joystick under my belt, so. It wasn't exactly the smoothest decoupling ever. Uh, let me jettison the fairing. That's just separate anyway. What we need to worry about is this decoupling here, the floaty decoupling of Doom. It's probably not even supposed to be separate like that. I think that was supposed to be directly on here. I don't know. Okay, slowing down. Okay, separation. I think it just separated normally this time. Well, but these engines should be started already. Well, I guess not. Okay, uh, let me cut thrust and then start all of them. Okay, rolling up. You know, uh, in this situation, since the AP and PE are probably wrong anyway, it'd be nice if they gave us our impact time down there. Right? That might be helpful. I don't know if this info can be changed. No, I can't click on it and change it. That's a nice flat area, though. 
I am manually turning it, which maybe just telling it to hold retrograde might have been a better idea. Oh, oh for God's sakes, no. Oh, no. 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 Ow. Somebody said it wouldn't tip over with three legs in the comments. I get the feeling it still managed to tip over with three legs, thank you very much. Um, having extensive experience, it's gotta tip over a lot. Um, first of all, I'm going to try and launch it like this eventually. At least we've got Jeb, uh, I still can't EVA uh, because I guess due to an obstacle, he can't EVA. I'm gonna try and uh, launch this from the surface. And then uh, later on we'll think about, uh, I'll try it again and try and land better, but um, this is going to be a bad idea. It'll be interesting. We pointed vaguely easterly. Okay, it doesn't like that. It doesn't like that. That could have gone better. You're right. You're right. Okay. But we want to save Jeb somehow. You know what the best way to save Jeb is? Not landing. <laughs> um, this was today. Okay, it's in this state. Well, that saves us some time at least. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. No! It's just gonna it's just gonna it's gonna ow and it actually hold that okay let's try and hold a negative velocity marker let's try that uh, okay oh oh no 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 it's uh, 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 uh. okay okay launch we landed Gosh darn it, <laughs> we landed, it counts, I've had enough of this. I didn't say how long we had to hold there. No, no, we're going home. The music says that I'm right, so there. It is contextual music, it is nice. Okay, I'm gonna actually turn it all off and shut these sparks down since they're not as efficient as the terriers. That'll give us some extra delta V. We really only need those for landing and takeoff in emergency situations. And then we have to have Jeb hang out until the opportunity to get back home. Well, we do need to boost up a little bit more. Uh, we're up left, so this is probably in the atmosphere. I knew when I made this tall lander, it just tipped over, but I still tried it. Had to know. Okay, we have made orbit, and we have a thousand, basically a thousand five hundred left to get back. Now the right timing is if Kerbin is behind Duna, because Kerbin is going to go faster than Duna, so we want to meet up with Kerbin over here, and we'll just, uh, we should time warp in the tracking station. We're probably going to have time warp restrictions at this altitude though. Well, let's see. Ah uh, yeah, it's only 100x. We're going to have to boost Jeb up to a higher altitude. I think 200 kilometers should be fine. It's not ideal, of course, we get less overth benefit from that. But we need to be able to time warp. It turns out 10,000 x time warp is not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. I think we're gonna have to boost Jeb further up. Uh, 400? 400 kilometers? Let's just go for 500. Even 500 doesn't give us an extra time warp slot. How long do they expect me to sit here time warping exactly? 
We have to wait for windows and such, you know. I, maybe I, we should have just waited on the surface, but then we'd tip over. So... <laughs> You have one station, you're going to be doomed to time warp really slowly. Okay, there's another time warp slot. 600 is good enough, apparently. I don't know what they're so afraid of with the lower orbits, though. I don't know, does that have something to do with multiplayer? I have no idea. But this is drastically inefficient. And of course, we have to circularize at this altitude, otherwise it'd take us out of time warp on the low end. Okay, uh, I don't know if this is a good enough time warp level. We'll see. Can I manage this? It's 100,000, so I think it's okay. Alright. Yeah, not my favorite aspect of the game. The time warp limitations being applied in the tracking station. Okay, that should be about right. I think it's negative 75 degrees. Kerbin has to be behind Duna by 75 degrees. I could be misremembering it. It might be 54 degrees. It's one of the two. Uh, let's try this. Let's jump to vessel. Okay, stop. Stop notifying me. Okay, here we are again. 1,200 left only. After having to boost to this orbit. Oh, that's going out. We're going... Why is that going out? Ah. Hold on. Reek. Okay. Am I upside down? Oh. Okay, hold on. I feel, feel like I suddenly turned myself upside down and that's why it's doing the wrong thing. But it shouldn't be going higher than Tuna's orbit right now. But whatever. I'll just find a place where it's doing what I want it to do. That's pretty close. By the way, I think there is already a mod that lets you keep the information like that up while you're manipulating the maneuver node. But I'm not going to install mods for now. And that is because uh, people will get confused and also if there's a glitch, I want to make sure that the glitch is due to the stock situation and not because of a mod. And so for bug detailing reasons, I'm going to sacrifice myself and just sort of deal with things including not seeing periapsis and apoapsis when trying to manipulate maneuver nodes. Otherwise, we don't know whether any issues I have are due to a mod or due to the stock thing. So, now we know for sure that any issues I have are stock issues. So, that's how it's going to be for a little bit. Even though you know I love mods. <laughs> you know I love mods and I make mods, so... Though, I don't think there are any... Uh, part mods right now. Okay, we, we've got a urban encounter and everything. 24,000 kilometers. I'll take it for now and we'll adjust after the burn. Okay, 941 meters per second and then we'll have a little bit under 300 to adjust. Oh, there it is. Okay. Always keep an eye on the planet that you're around. Make sure it's not sneaking up on you. Okay. Counting down here. We can't get the lit side of the spacecraft and Duna at the same time, so we'll just go with this view. And... go! And stop. Okay, well, did that as good as I could according to this, though I don't know what the red thing is for. Um, it seems to say that I don't have fuel, but I had fuel. Okay, well, um, that's not the periapsis I was supposed to get. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, well, it's not showing me stuff again. I didn't have that targeted. That is target focus. 
It doesn't show me an encounter anymore. I did the burn as good as I could, Kerbal. Why do I not have an encounter around? We better plot something else as a correction. Well, that shows 152,000 kilometers from target there. Okay, we'll do the rest as a mid-course adjustment. We need to adjust by 46 meters per second right now, it looks like. We overburned a bit, it would seem. Okay, and ignition. And shut down. Okay, that's as close as it gets. We hit a minimum. All right. Jeb is at home. Jeb is at home. And we are departing the red planet. Reddish planet. Sort of a burnt thing. <laughs> well, it's stark right now. Everything's stark right now. Off we go. Okay, well last time I crossed the SOI boundary with Val, it messed up completely, so I've got definitely reduced time warp, a la KSC, uh, KSP-1, so that doesn't do that again. It did it again! It did it again! It boosted, look, it boosted our orbit up so that we now have a near Drez tangential orbit. Okay, load game. When was the last time you saved the game, game? Oh, just now. Okay. Hopefully it's before we cross the SOI boundary. In that case, you're, you're a smart game. Okay, here it is again. <laughs> Our, uh... Okay, we have no maneuver node here. We have a Kerbin tangential orbit. Okay, this happened with Val 2. I'm gonna go full speed through it. YOLO. Okay, okay, okay. How did it go? It both boosted up again in exactly the same way. Exactly the same way. Okay. Um, we will uh, try and go through at 1x time. I'll try that. We get the dot exiting SOI, but it doesn't give us a timer. It used to give us a timer to the exit SOI mark, right? feel like we're getting less information here. And once again, the AP and PE information are useless, so might as well give us the SOI change down there. Okay, okay, 1x, 1x. And I'm gonna do a just a little quick burn here. Just to like reset math. Okay, we're going through at 1x. I did it. They did it. Ah, uh, poor Jeb. Well, it looks like rescuing Jeb is not going to be so simple. We got a Kerbin tangential orbit. It proves that my mission could have worked, uh, but, uh, given the possibility of me landing properly, uh, which I couldn't, and uh, it not messing up our return, which it did. Uh, but it has messed up our return, and we're going to have to send a rescue mission for Jeb at some later date. Jeb is going to hang out here, and that's just going to be how it is. I've got to save a special save game here. Need to rescue Jeb. But this is a persistent problem with the orbits that we have right now. I'm going to leave it there so that we can highlight the fact that we have this issue. <laughs> and... Uh, Hopefully it'll get fixed promptly because this is, of course, uh, messing with our ability to explore the planets here. So, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.